Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm a day late, I know. Sorry, it's been crazy. Today is Tuesday, June 5th, and I'm finally ready to update you guys. So, Tuesday, June 5th, what am I, 36 weeks post-op today? 36, I think. Um, and I know the past few weeks, actually the past month or two, I really haven't been that good at updating. So here's the reasoning behind that. I was pretty embarrassed about my progress and I've been in the gym three days a week. At least I have been okay on eating. Not like I should be. That's why I'm embarrassed because I feel like I had just fallen off. Um, and I'm so ready to get back into it and I've got some things lined up for me. So I know I will be able to get right back into it. So anyway, stats, um, I'm five, three, I'm 27 years old. My highest weight was right around a year ago in May of 2017 at 250.2. Um, my day of surgery weight was 230.8. Last time I came to you guys, I think I was like 160, 161. I don't remember the exact weight because I've been literally for the past four or five weeks. So I've been fluctuating between 160 and 163 and I could not break it. Um, I did not weigh myself yesterday cause I was not home this morning. I did weigh myself first thing in the morning. Like I do every Monday is, is when I usually weigh myself and I was 158.8. Now I don't want to celebrate being out of the one sixties yet because the scale has been playing me this past month. So I'm really nervous to be like, Oh my God, finally. I mean, I'm really excited to be out of the one sixties, but, um, you know, I just don't know. So anyway, uh, 158.8, that puts me at 72 pounds loss since surgery. Puts me at 91.4 pounds lost overall. I'm super excited about it. Um, I have, sorry, I'm itching my foot. <laughs> I have changed my goals just a little bit. And I'm, I'm not going to say that I'm giving up on myself, but as I've gotten so much smaller, I've realized what is going to be a little bit more realistic for me. Um, so 158.8 right now, my goal is still to hit 150 or below the doctor's ideal weight for me was 132 because I am five foot three. Um, I do not see myself losing another 25 pounds. I don't know, maybe, you know, maybe it's possible, but I don't see that being realistic. So I would like to see myself anywhere in the one forties. And I say that because I want to hit below 150. That would put me at 100 pounds lost. And I mean, one forties, I think is probably going to be where I end up. So I had mentioned it briefly after one of my last appointments, the ideal body weight that my doctor gave me of 132. The nutritionist said that that is like 100% goal, the lowest you should get. Like for me, she said it's more realistic to imagine myself about 10 to 20 pounds heavier than that. And that's usually where people stay and are comfortable about 10 to 20 pounds heavier than their ideal body weight. So that would put me anywhere between 142 and 152. So 158.8 this morning. I'm happy with it. Um, and we'll see where I can go from here. Next, um, my ankle. So I had mentioned to you guys that I had gotten an MRI on my neck for all of my neck pain and headaches that I had gotten. That MRI came back normal. Does that surprise me? No, because every test that's ever been ran on me this year has come back perfectly normal. So I did have an MRI yesterday on my ankle because... For those of you that don't know, my right ankle has been swelling for five months now. Started at the beginning of the year, January. I have no idea what happened. I literally woke up one day and I was in pain all over. My joints are stiff. Um, my neck was, I was getting really bad headaches because of what felt like nerve pain to me. Um, my knees and elbows get really, really, really stiff. I have to move within every five minutes or I get really stiff and sore and I'm in a lot of pain. Um, and my ankle has been swelling for five months now and it swells every single day. It's, it's actually never gone back to normal size. So it kind of stays in a swollen state and then at night or if it's super hot and humid or if I get out of the shower, it is 
sorry for that. Um, updating my Apple watch and it just popped up to tell me it was done. Um, it's like huge. Like I'll insert a picture. Um, but it's, yeah, it gets bad and it's the past couple weeks, maybe a month. It's actually started to really hurt. Um, before it was just kind of annoying because it was sore and swollen and, because it being so sore, it wasn't as um, stable as it should have been. So I felt like I was rolling it more often and that hurt. But um, now it's actually started to hurt. My heel, um, like where my Achilles tendon is, has started to pop lately. The top of my foot has been hurting really bad. Um, I was on the treadmill last week and I was doing different incline intervals and I had to stop after nine minutes. It, oh my goodness, it hurts so bad. So that's where I'm at right now. I just had that MRI done yesterday. I'm waiting for the results. The rheumatologist said, if the results come back normal, she's going to prescribe me prednisone, start me on the steroid, and just let it see if it flushes my body of inflammation. If that does not work, I'm screwed. I don't have anything else to go on. However, I do have a hint as to what's going on with my ankle. So as I was in the MRI yesterday, I had to have it with and without contrast. So meaning I was in the MRI for whatever. They did all these scans, blah, blah, blah. Then they came in and had to inject the dye into my system, whatever their contrast is, whatever. So then I go back in for a few more scans with the contrast. So I did that. And as the... Um, radiology tech was in the room putting the contrast in he asked me if I ever had surgery on that ankle or that foot and I was like no why he said well it looks like you may have some metal in your foot I'm sorry what like how do you just get a piece of metal in your foot for I was like nope I've never had anything done to that foot I didn't injure it I didn't have an open sore like I didn't have anything so I'm like, how in the heck can I have gotten metal in my foot? I don't know. So we'll see if that's the culprit. If it's in my foot and it's just irritating the crap out of it, maybe that's why. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully we have answers really, really soon. Um, so that's the update on that. You got my weight. Next thing I want to talk to you guys about, sorry if this video actually goes a little bit long. I haven't updated like real stuff in forever, so I'm actually excited to update you on some things. So a few NSVs that I wanted to talk about. So I, I remember it was either, I think it was back before I had surgery. Um, Amy eats plants and I did a video on the five things that we cannot wait to be rid of or, you know, um, basically NSVs, but I don't know. I don't remember the way we worded it, but go back and look at my early videos from almost a year ago and you can see it. So it was like top five things I'm not going to miss about being fat or something like that. Um, so it's basically NSVs and I wanted to talk about them today. I don't really remember all the ones that I went over in that video, but I think I remember some of them and they actually correspond to me right now where I'm at. So one, seatbelt. First of all, I no longer have to move my seatbelt. It doesn't choke me. It doesn't sit here because my boobs are small. <laughs> My boob shrunk, so the seatbelt actually sits where it's supposed to now. That is a huge NSV, and I don't really care if you understand what I'm talking about or not. I'm assuming 9 out of 10 of you ladies are going to understand what I'm talking about. When your boobs are so big, my boobs used to sit up here. I was choking to death. Literally, I was choking on my own boobs. They have shrunk dramatically. Can I tell you what size they are now? No, because I have not gone bra shopping. 90 pounds later, and I'm still wearing the same bras. Um, yeah, so that's, that's a little weird, but anyway, yeah, so my seatbelt fits normally now. I don't have to move it. I'm not choking, nothing. I sit in random positions in the car, not so much when I'm driving because I like my both feet on the ground. I like to be able to drive that kind of thing, but I've noticed when my boyfriend drives and I'm in the passenger seat, I've got like one foot up on the dashboard or I've got my foot up on the seat or I'm sitting cross-legged in the seat, like I've always seen girls do that, and I'm like, how is that comfortable? Like, isn't isn't that uncomfortable? How are you sitting like that? Um, and now I sit like that, so that's weird. Um, I never expected myself to be able to do that. Um, I'm just so used to having so much fat in the way that I couldn't sit comfortably like that, so now I do. Um, 
roller coasters. I know that was one of my NSVs, amusement park. So um, a couple weeks back, Anthony and I went to Kings Island and had the best time ever. Um, I haven't been on a roller coaster in probably actually almost 10 years, nine years, I think it is from this summer. And so I haven't really been on one since I've gotten this big, but it was a big fear of mine that if I ever wanted to go, I wouldn't fit. Uh, I had zero problem whatsoever. No problems at all. I had no problems walking around the park. Um, we drank a lot of water. It was hot that day. So we drank a lot of water. We ate a little bit, but not much. Thank God. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I had like the best time ever at the amusement park. Um, it was so much fun. And I just, I never imagined that I wouldn't be winded walking around the park. You know what I mean? I had so much energy. I was so ready to go. I was just really excited. Um, and I didn't have to worry about what I wore that day. I wore, um, workout capris some workout pants and a cutoff t-shirt. Awesome. I mean, that's it. It was awesome. Um, okay. So this one may be TMI men. If you don't really want to pay attention to undergarment talk, then don't watch this. But, um, I'm just going to be completely honest and say when I was fat, I would wear underwear a bra, a fat sucker inner, or, you know, a compression tank top or whatever you want to call it, a cami, and then a shirt. I would have so many layers on, not because I felt like it made me smaller, but because I felt like it held me in and I didn't jiggle or roll as much. <laughs> um, now I have so much jiggle in my stomach. There's so much loose skin. It's not even funny. Um, but I find myself, again, TMI, I find myself not even wearing underwear half the time. I'll just put my shorts on or my jeans, put on a bra, put on a shirt. I'm not wearing my fat sucker in her as much. I'm not wearing camis all the time. I'm barely wearing underwear. Like, I'm literally just putting on pants and a bra and then a shirt. I don't know who this girl is, but it is so, like, freeing. Like, I don't feel like I'm constricted and I don't feel like I'm jiggling or hanging out. You know what I mean? I'm fully covered, but I'm not wearing 10 layers at a time anymore. So that's so fun. I'm loving that. Um, yeah. I don't know if that's all my NSVs. I think it is. I think that's all I had. Um, yeah. Yeah know what else I'm really glad to be I'm really gonna try my hardest to be back every week on time I've been so bad at that and you guys are so awesome still like you still comment on all my stuff and are just so supportive and so sweet and I love you guys for that so thank you so much I'm really gonna try to be better at, at, at posting and commenting and I'm so behind on everybody's videos life has been so crazy you guys and I'm loving it I have zero complaints um, it's just the, the God's honest truth. I've just been busy and I'm so sorry. I'm going to try to be better. Um, big changes here in the next couple weeks and I just, I'm excited and I'm tan by the way. Look at these tan lines. See that? Yeah. I have tan lines out the wazoo, but you know what? I'm loving it. Um, I'm off work on Thursday. Actually, tomorrow is my last day at my current job. And I do not start my new job until uh, Monday. So I have Thursday and Friday off. And my boyfriend is off on Thursday as well. So Bray and I are going to be with him um, at his apartment. We're going to go swimming. So I'm pretty excited about that. That's like a huge thing for me. I've been in my bathing suit the past couple weeks. And I haven't cared about what I look like or like worn cover-ups or anything like that. Like... Memorial Day weekend, the whole time I had my bathing suit on, it is a one piece. Um, I had my bathing suit on and then I had my jean shorts on just unbuttoned. Like I was just wearing them. Like I would have never done that in my wildest dreams before I would have had like pants on. I would have had a t-shirt on. I was something, you know, I could not be uncovered. Um, now I'm enjoying it. Um, yeah, I'm just having a really good time. I'm very, very thankful for this surgery and this process. Um, one other thing I'll talk about, which again, men, if you don't want to, <laughs> you want to hear about my sex life, just move on. Um, obviously I'm not going to go into detail, 
So if you've been following me this whole time, you know, that I've been single for a really, really, really long time. And the past couple months I've recently gotten this relationship and it's been the best thing in the world. Um, and I think I needed to be more confident in myself before getting into a relationship. I was very happy with myself. I love my personality. I was very pretty. I'm not conceited, but I did think highly of myself before, but there was still something deep down that was inhibiting me from actually living life fully. And I think I really needed that before meeting somebody. And I had finally gotten to the point where I was happy. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to meet somebody when it's time to meet somebody. And I did. Um, and he's fantastic and he's awesome. And I love this guy so much. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. We'll just say that. Um, but okay. So single for four and a half years. Right. And so honestly, the last time that I was like with somebody with somebody, um, okay. I was not celibate for four years, so let's not go there. But the last time that I was with somebody, um, was at least a couple years ago as far as like, I don't know, seeing them, whatever that means. But I just was not comfortable with myself in the sex department. Okay. Um, I think that once we all hit a certain point with our bodies, we all kind of feel like that to a certain extent. Right. So I really, I wasn't comfortable. Um, now, like, I don't know. It's going to sound weird. I don't know if, um, sorry about that guys. I had to put my thing down. Um, I don't know if it's me being more comfortable with myself or if it is my boyfriend, but the sex, you guys, it's amazing. It's, it's ridiculous how amazing it is. Like if for that reason alone, I'd have the surgery done to change my life. I mean, let's be honest. I know that sounds stupid, but there are so many benefits to the surgery and to losing weight and to getting your life back. And sex is one of them. I'll be honest. I think most girls can probably, um, testify to that. So sorry about this whole weird looking light thing y'all are seeing, but yeah, well, that's what you get. Um, I think that's all I have. It's almost a 20 minute video. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I touched on this on Instagram the other day and I'll touch on it very quickly right now. I don't mean to scare anybody. Um, I am fine, but I do want to put a disclaimer out there for girls. If you are not used to getting attention, um, and you've started to lose weight and you're starting to go out or go out more and you're finding yourself getting more attention than you'd like, don't go out by yourself. Always have somebody with you. I learned my lesson on Saturday. Um, I actually met my, my girlfriend, her birthday's today. I met her at one of our local bars that we go to all the time. We had dinner and we had two beers. She did not feel good. Um, and so she went home. It was like eight o'clock on Saturday night. So I was like, well, I'll just go to the local bar by my house, about 10 miles away. Went back to my house, two, two blocks from my house is the local saloon. So I went up there. I didn't think anything of it. Um, I've been out there a few times by myself, never had any problems. I'm not going to say it was a problem, but I was extremely overwhelmed and I felt very out of place. Um, I'll insert some pictures that I put on Instagram that I, I, I did my makeup. I straightened my hair. I had a really cute shirt and some jean shorts. I felt like I looked fantastic and I looked great, but... I didn't expect to receive the amount of attention that I did. And it was almost scary. Um, and that sounds so dramatic. Cause I remember being like, girls just appreciate the attention you're getting, like quit hating on it. Um, now I get where they were coming from. It's not that I didn't appreciate the attention, but the amount of attention by the amount of men that I got at the same time in that bar was overwhelming to say the least. Um, I ended up having to leave. I felt so overwhelmed and scared almost because they, they were buying drinks, buying shots. I honestly, I felt, I felt like they were trying to get me drunk on purpose and that was terrifying and I quit and I went home and I will not put myself in that position again. Um, but just a warning for you ladies out there. If 
if you're single and you're going out, please don't go out by yourself. Even if you're not single, because I'm not single. I'm not married, but I'm not single. And I was extremely uncomfortable with people's attention on me. I didn't want it. I, the first, first time someone bought me a drink, it was flattering. Then they started asking for my phone number, and I had told them no. And it just... I don't even know how... I don't even know how to explain the amount of uncomfortability that I felt. So, just be careful, you guys, if you're going out by yourself. I really recommend not. Um, just be smart. Be smart and trust your instincts. Not saying that all men are going to try to take advantage of you. That's not the case. Um, but... Just be smart. Be safe. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Alright. That's it. I'm almost to work. Um, upload this video. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.